Hey guys, what is up? Plastic Guy here, coming back with another video on the channel, and today we're just gonna do something a little bit different, and I'm gonna show you how to safely and effectively open up your retro carded figures. Here I've got Storm still in a retro carded box. I just picked this up and I'm just about to do a review on it. However, I thought I would share something with you guys, something that's useful, and that is how to open this up well and how to reuse the box. I know a lot of people like to put their figures back in the box. I especially do sometimes. And I know some folk just like to keep the packaging of their out-of-box figures as well, just in case one day they want to put it back in. And this way is a simple way to do so. I saw this method on another YouTube video and I thought I would shove it up on this channel because it is helpful. And I have seen some videos recently where I thought, hmm, they could be helped by knowing this method. I saw this guy unboxing a lot of old Spider-Man movie figures and he expressed his interest in keeping the package intact and then went on to just completely ruin it trying to open those figures up and I felt so bad however this way should help you out if this interests you so I'm just gonna grab a wee knife I mean I think this is a letter opener but it's a sharp wee knife and I will say before I start if you are a younger viewer and you know you don't trust yourself around knives, maybe get your parent to do it or at least do it under adult supervision. Or if you're just an irresponsible adult like myself, you might want to just make sure someone's on standby. But if we do this effectively and safely, there will be no issues. And I'm not sure if you can see it, I do have a wee scar on my finger from trying to open packages like this in the past so fingers crossed I don't hurt myself on video right now but what we're gonna do is get a retro carded packaging like so and you just want to kind of cut along the bottom here so let's go for that we'll just shove the knife and I'm gonna say round about here and you just want to cut into it and then cut along the bottom okay and as you can see if your knife's sharp enough, this will just do so with ease. And I'm just going to stop about here. You want to come in from the sides a bit. You don't want to do it right at the sides. You want to come in just a wee bit. And we're just going to see where it starts. So it starts here. You're going to move up to, I'd say, maybe about here. And we're going to cut in a bit. And then cut down to meet that point that we made at the start there. So there we go, and then just do that on the other side. So let's go about here, cut down. So we've just made a wee flap. You can see that there, a wee flap that opens up. We can put our knife down. Thankfully no cuts, hopefully you don't have any either. And you can just put your hand in there and grab that original, grab that inside packaging and just pull and there we go there is the figure out we've got the instructions here don't need them and look at that packaging still in fantastic condition obviously you have the flap at the bottom but apart from that i mean nothing to complain about at all i think it's a great method and really useful for those who want to keep their packaging in good condition of course here's the inside packaging like so and i have cut into the inside bit so if you're doing this method just be wary you can cut into this bit i don't think it's overly a big deal but that can happen just don't go as far in when you shove that knife in and if you want to put the figure back in you do have to squash it a bit. And voila, the figure is back in the packaging. Once again, no damage to the box. Easy peasy. Now, that was a wee bit of a struggle, and it's still actually sticking out a wee bit. The way to avoid really having to squash it in that, if you just go over a wee bit more, 
when you're cutting down and along just pick it more towards the edges i didn't want to put it too towards the edges in case it wasn't firm enough but i think that's just a bit silly anyway i think it'll be fine if you do cut more towards the edge and that's about it for this video guys just thought i'd show off that wee quick method for you guys and yeah i hope it works for you if it does please smash that like button let me know what you think in the comments and hit that subscribe button for future videos thanks very much for watching i'll catch you on the flip flop later cheers